Yeah, Cheryl 93. Today, <clears throat> we're gonna do a little uh, redneck science breaking things. All right, well, anyways, we're gonna see how bulletproof a metal tumbler is. Uh, I picked these up in a clearance aisle somewhere where I'm not gonna say, but you probably could figure it out, but these are nice mugs. Um, I have one myself. They work really good. Keeps coffee hot, keeps coffee cold, however you want to do it. Um, but we're going to give it a try. I got two of them here. I got uh, what I'm going to use today, my hair to dry rider. Um, I got the 22 mag cylinder in it right now, but I'm going to switch it out and I'm going to put 22 shorts in it, 22 long rifle, and we'll go to the 22 mag. We'll see how far, uh, we'll see if they stop. And then, uh, after that, got my 9mm with some standard ball ammo and my Glock 21, 45 ACP. So we're going to give all of these a try and uh, depending on what happens, we'll, uh, we'll see how many holes are in it first then we might go to the 12 gauge. So I'm going to set these up, uh, we're about 10 feet away and we're going to see how bulletproof. We're going to start with the 22 CB shorts. Go from there. Alrighty. So, here to Drift Rider. I switched the cylinder out in it. Going to put, uh, shoot with a 22 short. You can see my jug sitting right there. Um, these are empty. So, um, I know the ballistics would be different if they were full, but uh, we're gonna give it a try here. Just knocked it over. And uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Look, it dropped in the snow in front of me bullet. Let me go grab the cup. Alright. CB short. Just put a little dent in it. So the next one we're going to do, we're going to do a 22 long rifle. Don't need that. Get to uh, Remington Thunderbolts. I bet these are going to zip right through. So, just I sort of kind of imagined, I kind of hit it off to the side, but that's what the Thunderbolt did. It uh, split it, and then just veered off. It hit pretty hard. It split both of the layers. There's a, I guess there's a vacuum seal in these things or something like that. It helps keep your coffee hot or cold or whatever you do with them. But it split, it split both of them. I don't know if you can see in there, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna turn this around and uh, gonna shoot at it with the 22 Magnum. All right, so I got some 100A 30 grain V Max rounds and my little uh, coffee mug up there. That still is the same one I've been shooting at. We're gonna see what the 22 Mag does to it. I bet you that one went through. Let's take a look. So, yeah. 22 Magnum zipped right through it. Made a nice, good sized hole right there. Hello. All right. So, I'm gonna turn it this way. So this side's facing. We'll shoot at it with a nine millimeter. And uh, 
go from there. All right, so I got my Sky CPX2, 115 grain rounds. Let's see. I bet you this is gonna zip right through. Yeah, that zipped right through. Made a good size hole. Zipped right through there. But, hey, you don't know if you don't try, right? So I'm going to set it back up. I'm going to set it up right here. And uh, we're going to see what the uh, 45 ACP does. All right. I know I haven't done much uh, videos on this, but... Uh, my Glock 21, 45 ACP. I know it's got the longer barrel on it. It's threaded for a suppressor. Got the elevated uh, sights. I gotta build a suppressor for it. So all I got now is a uh, 230 grain ball ammo. Let's see what it does to the coffee mug. Let's go grab it. I missed. Just skimmed it. Put a little dent in it, but it's not good enough for me. I'm gonna set it back up. I wanna hit right here somewhere. All right, take two for the uh, 45. I bet you that zipped right through. Let's go check it out. So, yeah. It punched a pretty good hole in there. Split it right open right here. Came out right there. Probably would have done the same too if I had a 45 hit me, you know? But, uh, all right. I got one that has no holes in it. Let's see what happened with a uh, 12 gauge. Don't know if you don't try, right? Obviously, this one here. Eh, yeah, bolts go through it. We'll give this one a try. I'll be right back. Alrighty. I was playing it safe. I was shooting here at about 10 feet earlier. Um, I moved the coffee mug over here. Right there. It's about 25 feet. Um, what I also did was, uh, I'm just shooting at it with a number eight bird shot. I took the lid off it, just in case I screwed up, because, oh, well, I guess if I screwed up that lid, it wouldn't have mattered, because this lid on the one I shot up is perfectly fine. Because if the BBs don't penetrate it, then guess what, I'm going to have a cool looking coffee mug. Alright. Well, it looks like I got seven and a half... I got shot seven and a half and eight. I'll shoot at it with the eight. And uh, let's see what happens. I missed. Um, yeah, let's try that again. Seven and a half. Apparently, I can't hit the coffee mug in front of me. So I got another seven and a half. I'll be able to do it better when I'm standing up. Finally, I hit it. I'll be right back. 
Alrighty, well guess what? It didn't penetrate it whatsoever. After I shot at it the third time, but... Oh well, I don't care. I'm having fun. Well, 12 gauge bird shot won't go through a coffee mug at 20, 25 feet-ish. I was shooting there somewhere. But uh, yeah, it didn't penetrate, it didn't split it. Nothing, it just peppered it. So guess what? I got to me a nice cool looking coffee mug when I go to work. Mm, yeah, nothing new. All right, so stay tuned to SRL 93. Um, there'll be more episodes coming up. I'm gonna do a lot more videos this year that compared to what I did last year. And uh, this is pretty fun. Don't forget to subscribe, share it, you know, tell your friends, tell your family, and uh, thanks for watching.